hey, I ain't expecting you to have all the answers to my issues, yet you make a lot of sense in your vids. So I had this growing issue of being spontaneously hooked really intensely by random girls around to a point. I'm an older guy and I think it's related to my age-old consumption of porn, which makes it that I'm repeatedly hyping girls around as far as their looks fit with my appeal for eye candy. This has been starting to be a major problem as it is borderline on stalking, harassment and potentially abuse. No, but this is- but I given don't- given I'm definitely not a talkative guy, this gets more into some ob obsessive staring and stalking. Honestly, I don't feel good about this, and it's obviously out of place to me, thank you. But yet when it happens, you know it's way too strong, or at least there's a delay in my awareness of what I'm doing. At several instances, it did get me into this awful situation where I became the stalker, and that's the kind of outcome that makes me want to stab myself for years afterwards. I did manage to untie that once in a while by going straight up to girls I'm attracted to and telling them the basics, that I find them hot and so on. Though on the other hand, that direct approach doesn't seem like the proper attitude or pickup line for me to develop anything with them. <laughs> But it does ease for me for a while, and girls tend to feel appreciated at least, instead of threatened or oppressed by my otherwise stalky behaviour. I get that might not be a straight advice you give me, but any mindful reactions might be welcome. So, at first when we saw that question, we were worried this was like a baited question, because it is that like dark, and there was just like a bit of like, what do we do? There's not really like a correct way of like approaching this. Except However, saying, don't stalk. No, but again, this is way more complicated, and like for us to unpick this. And again, you know what, thank you for writing this in, thanks for reflecting, as well as, you know, like, I don't want this to just be a show by lefties to lefties, you know? And this is the sort of question that I can totally see coming from the other side of the barricades as such um you think they're self-aware enough to like recognize no, thinking behavior as i don't problematic? know i don't know i don't know but at least it's not just like at least it's something different as such sure. okay so um i think what is fundamentally here and what is uh i think shown in uh, three instances in this question you mentioning porn you mentioning stalking you mentioning pickup is that fundamentally you don't necessarily see women as people with their own agency as people that can as people that would like to establish their own boundaries as people that have to uh, do certain labor that they don't you know like that that basically that puts them on a spot just because they're the women sometimes putting some putting themselves out there sometimes not um, so I think fundamentally you have to like really ground your political views further in the frame in, 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 in the frames of, of of feminism and women's agency and such. I think this is here is like the lacking the, the lacking link where you don't really understand what sort of that that sort of behavior will make a woman feel like as such. Or it sounds like you come to that light sometimes and then you want to stab yourself for years or whatever. I mean to me what what I find, I find this question slightly out of our depth, purely because um, the way in which you've, you've talked about this uh, behaviour like manifesting, it sounds like some kind of switch, like you have this compulsion and you're aware of it in your down moments, but when you're in there you have no option but to, I mean I don't know how the stalking manifests, but to follow a girl around or to obsess over her online images or to do these things. There is an obsessive trait in you that you're aware of and for some reason it's being like triggered by hot girls and honestly I think that you need to see therapists. But it's the, the, the what I'm trying to get to is that like you are dehumanizing the other side. Mm. It's like it's only based on your own desire. I don't disagree right? with you. Yeah. I, I agree with that point. I just I genuinely think you need to see a therapist. I think that if you're if but you the cannot control your 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 desire for someone which has as you say it manifests in an instant you see a hot girl and you feel a compulsion to act a certain way towards her that level of compulsion that you have been that you're acting on that you're not able to repress is to me something that is extremely worrying and i think i do think that we cannot offer the professional help for that aspect of it that is required and i would genuinely consider seeking some kind of therapy over that having that being said on the other half of it as mariam already said there are certain behaviors and um uh, beliefs maybe that we can help you on pick. Well, that's the thing. I think, as you say, you can approach this in, in two ways. And like what I imagine uh, a, a a a psychologist would say is that, and if all prescribed would be a certain um, cognitive behavior therapy, yes, right? I think so, too. so so we'd be like, okay, yes. If you're feeling that trigger, these are the the actions or the paths yeah. of your thought that you should be taking, because and so they will see it as like a pathology as such, and kind of. Put it down to that 
But what I'm trying to, I guess, get to is that like the underlying the underlying issue here is just like you don't see women as people with their own agency that will suffer from this sort of behavior. As in, I mean, that can also happen, you know, in in in, dif- in different ways. If one is like I don't know, like a oh, I know, just like a person with stories of violence towards. Oh no, dudes on it. Say dudes towards dudes. It's just like I don't know how it's. Yeah, abuse comes from a dehumanization. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That doesn't have to be towards women as such, but like you don't necessarily just see their point of view. You don't understand what it means to feel like a, a the weakness of not having the ability to block that out yeah. of your life, to not to not have to deal with this, to to um to, to be able to say no to this. And I think what you're trying to say there at the end is just that like. A lot of the times you got away with it because it's flattery. Um, and that's really fascinating because, for instance, just yesterday someone commented on my Twitter and I just did this like, I was kind of dumb selfie, why I didn't look pretty in, in it at all. But someone was like, oh, you know, now I've got uh, the, the kind of confidence to tell you that that's a, that's a good selfie. They literally just said that's a good selfie. But they were like, but I didn't know whether you'd be okay with that. And I was just like, for a good few moments, I was like, you just said it's like a good selfie, surely that. How could anyone think that's bad? Yeah, it's not saying like I want to suck your tits. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought like surely that's just like. But I mean, absolute. careful, I guess. But then again, but then there will be some people that will be putting themselves out there and not necessarily waiting for any reaction. That sort of goes back to a little bit to the question of like, can I touch, can I touch my, well, myself to someone, someone's Instagram pictures? It's not like, of course, not everyone thinks that you're gonna utilize that medium in that sort of sense. However, you know, everything we put ourselves out there as such is kind of utilized that way i guess my issue though is that like this is not a genuine attraction this is a like hot flush this is a bonus yes, this yes, is not like yes. i'm interested in a person i'm going to pursue a relationship this is i have seen a girl for a split second and i have decided that i'm obsessed with her that's a very different thing like yeah obviously we all see someone in a bar and we're like oh man that person is so hot yeah like, and then them. we go back and maybe fantasize them about them yeah. as well you know? or we go up and talk to them or whatever but, but what's it's the it's the continuity of it with random different girls yeah. that is what's concerning me. It, like you seem to be undiscerning and like you've limited your like porn addiction, which is good. But this like I've seen a hot girl. Like, okay, I recently watched this um, Netflix series. You have you watched it? Okay, it's a very very interesting exploration. It's from the point of view of this guy that sees this hot girl, and it starts from his perspective. And and you know he starts the day her and he starts her, and you basically end up realizing that he's a stalker. Mm. And like, so she thinks they've had a nice day and she goes home. He stands outside her apartment all night and watches her in her house. And it continues, and it's all from his point of view. So you see all of his like abusive, stalking behaviors. And yet, you're somehow made to be sympathetic with him because he's really in love with her and she's so interesting and this and this. And it's a very interesting portrayal of exactly why these behaviors. Wow, it goes to her head, which is very, very gruesome. I'm not going to ruin it for you. But um, the point is that, like, yeah, no, th- your behavior is completely fucking unacceptable. But like, there's not, there's no final. Uh, kind of stage to that behavior either as well as in like how are you gonna it's not like you're probably fantasizing about having a family or being with them or falling in love with them you're probably fantasizing about like hooking up with them but um, I think I don't think there are many scenarios where someone uh, like as you even worded yourself if someone's stalking you that that will go towards that person like wanting to do that with you as such not never. I mean, that no, happens. Never. I'm saying you know? never stalk someone. Okay. Okay. So what? Okay. Of course. Yes. 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 And I think that's that's them utilizing the language. But for instance, like, what if you're like a reply guy, right? And you just sort of like, I guess, just compliment someone yeah, for like you all can the do time. That. Under fine. she can block you if she wants to. That's fine. Well, yeah. That's a different thing. Like, I guess I, I'm. Oh, you think like IRL? Because I'm yeah, thinking online. Yeah. I, I just realized yeah, this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm totally thinking IRL. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Fine. That's why I'm being so hard lined. Yes, I'm yes. seeing it, I'm th- imagining he sees a hot girl on the street and he follows her home. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. I guess I didn't see it as that. I sort of saw it more as a like, oh, like I have this okay. imagery of like the, the pretty girls <laughs> online and so I become. Were... Yeah, okay. I mean, that's also like creepy in its own way, but it's not as. Is it creepy though? So I wonder. It, it depends how far it goes, I well, think. Yeah, sure. Like, that's, that's the point with everything. There's like, I'm interested in this person, I'm gonna like look through their Facebook profile pictures. Fine, we've all done that. And then there's. Yeah, but like yeah. No, so no I, I guess it is creepy if it's like if it's if it's. But can we agree, IRL? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah,
we, the only thing we can say is don't stalk someone. I just can't. I guess because I live in London, like there's just like effort to do that. Yeah, I, I just don't even I imagine. Just imagine this Twitter, Twitter thread by this girl who like met this guy in the library, and then she like he went to her workplace and stalked her like crazy for like six months until she had to get like restraining orders oh and shit. Oh my god! So I was totally IRLing this. This is so fascinating. We need yeah, to totally. Be more specific. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, okay, online obsession is a different beast. Well, yeah, like, IRL stalking is a different beast from, yeah. like, when okay. I... Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. Like, you're fucking creep. Yeah, that, <laughs> thank you. I was like, <laughs> she's being so kind. What is happening here? <laughs> I was like, she's being so harsh. <laughs> <I'm sorry." laughs> okay, okay, let's pretend you're talking about online, because I think we've, we've said, yeah, no yes, to real life. no, you're fucking weird but, stuff. Like, okay, online obsession <laughs> over weird, people like, just is... Evil. We've all done it. It's not great. Try not to do it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, being a reply guy is fine because she does have the choice to block you if she doesn't want that kind yeah. of content, which is fine. Yeah. Sliding in someone's DMs with, like, sexually explicit material, don't do that. No. Sliding in someone's DMs with, like, I want to drink or something, fine, but be prepared to be ignored. At the end of the day, I don't know, I just... It, it's just all very melancholic, right? Like, you're kind of descending to those sort of behaviors in order to just, like, love yourself. Like, n- not to end up in the situation where you just, like, love yourself enough, where you don't have to go for these girls that you think are everything and you're never going to be able to, like, have them. Hence, you have to impose yourself on them like that, you know? Like, you might as well, like, find someone that you have the same interest in sans the porn and the stalking but like you said earlier like it's about like basically a fundamental like lack of respect for women yeah. and not seeing their agency like he hasn't said that he's pursued them because he wants a relationship with them he's pursued them in relation to his porn addiction yeah. which suggests to me it's a purely sexual thing yeah. which is I've seen a pretty woman and I'm now fantasizing graphic sexual images about her and I'm actually acting on that fantasy yeah. Like, thinking that just because you know they're showing themselves out there, they might be similar to porn actresses, hence they will uh, like yeah. agree to do something. And I'm sorry, them. like porn actresses do not just have sex with random people; they have sex with people who they choose to as part of a, like a contract and payment, and, and like fully paid a lot. Yeah, fully well. paid a lot. Like it's a transaction, just like everything else. Like you stop watching porn, maybe. You know, no, don't you stop have... watching porn. Just watch feminist porn. There's some good out there. There's some good porn out there. But know? I don't know. Like, because to me, it sounds like it's the content of just seeing. No, that's true. Constantly, as well. every time he sees a hot woman, it's for her in a sexually explicit scenario. Therefore, that's all he can think of with women in sexually explicit scenarios. I think maybe he needs a break from the whole porn thing. Maybe he watch some rom coms. Like, watch something where like the romance of a relationship is what's fetishized. The yeah. the dating and the flirting and the everything apart from the graphic sexual scenarios because that's. Because also porn like, is not real sex. Like I mean, this that stuff that is from such particular angles, with such particular lighting. People that are wearing lots of makeup and have a lot of work done a lot of time. That also like plan their poses mm, in advance. It's choreographed. You know? I mean, it's choreographed as fuck. So I think you're fetishizing with pornography is way too much, you know. And that's not us being like some sort of like. No, oh, I watch porn. Yeah, we're fucking watching porn. Which the hell about yeah. porn? But like, it's so great because there's so much like good porn out there right now as well. Not just like a very limited um, yeah. selection. But um, but yeah, yeah. I think I, I, you should probably demystify in your head as to the sort of sexual encounters that you. I mean, want have to. you had many IRL sexual experiences? Like, and not just like fucking, but like like meaningful like emotional connections with people as well. Because I don't know, just everything about this sounds really unhealthy to me. And yeah, like I said at the very beginning, I think you should like find a therapist for how your well, relationship with wedding women is manifesting. Are we slut shaming someone in a sense? No, I'm not slut shaming him. I'm I'm the, your way in which you're treating and relating to women is problematic shaming him yeah and i think that this trigger this trigger where it goes from being interested in someone to stalking behavior within a very short period of time i think relates to some underlying issues well i think it's lack of respect fundamentally i think it's lack of respect yeah i think it's misogyny yeah and i think yeah i think you need help with why that that switch is happening and you know what it could kind of bring back to the boys and like Shadow Base and a bit. It's just like, you know, they, I told them only a couple of sentences because I was so overwhelmed by them. They were like taking my stuff and that sort of stuff. It's just like, it's like, what if, what if I was your sister, you know? And they didn't even change them. But like, I think that's the one thing that hopefully would work. I saw a great thing on Twitter today that said, um, whenever you think or say something, like, whenever you're thinking about saying something to a woman, write it down and give it to your mom. Mm. If you can't do that, don't say it. 
Yeah. And I was like, that's real nice. Yeah, that's it. I mean, again, though, like, it's okay to be, not vulgar, but it's okay to be graphic, you know, consensual In a consensual way, though. Yeah. It's not consensual yeah, until exactly. she said that she's interested. Yeah. No woman wants sexually explicit stuff said to her, either IRL or online, until she's had the... Yeah, until she's had the opportunity to say yes or no. Well, but then again, like, we said, oh, you know, validate us, right? Yeah, but not by saying, like, I want to suck your tits, but by saying, like, hey, you guys are doing great material. No, but, like, a certain amount of, like, you know, if someone paid you a compliment on your looks, right? Like, you should, you would still be, sure. hopefully... But I feel like we've covered this before in our, like, how to flirt without yeah, being creep yeah, stuff. Like, there are ways of, like, complimenting women that aren't explicit and don't make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And like when you are complimenting a woman, like it sounds like at the end you were saying you said you've tried it a few times to not stalk them but to instead actually talk to them. Think about why you're doing it. Are you doing it to make them feel good or to make yourself feel powerful? Because that's a real important difference. Yep. That is the crucial difference. I, uh, I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah. Just uh, uh, try to, you know, think of Think of the opposite sex with empathy. Yeah. 